first game on Saturday is the Minnesota Vikings at the San Francisco 49ers. Last week, the Vikings defeated the Saints in a game that very few people thought they would win. They played absolutely incredibly well against the Saints. They were firing on all cylinders, and when they play like they did last week, they're a very tough team to beat. The 49ers were on their bye week last week. I believe the 49ers have been a much more consistent team this season overall. They lost all three games in their 13-3 record by a touchdown or less. So they've been in all their games this year that they haven't won even. They have a lot of depth at the running back position. And George Kittle has been playing lights out this season. I think the 49ers, once they get rolling, they're hard to stop. So the Vikings haven't shown me enough consistency for me to pick them in a game that's in San Francisco. So I'm picking the 49ers for this game. The second game on Saturday is the Tennessee Titans at the Baltimore Ravens. The Titans defeated the Patriots last week in a game where Ryan Tannehill threw for under 100 yards but he didn't have to throw too much because their workhorse, Derrick Henry, stole the show, and when Derrick Henry gets loose, it's really hard to beat this team. The Ravens were on a bye week last week for a good reason. They're 14-2, and two and they're considered to be, by many, the best team in the NFL this year. Lamar Jackson's been playing incredibly well, and he's most likely going to be getting the MVP award. So, their offense has been incredibly good, and their defense has been playing well. So, they're a very tough team to beat. So, for my pick, I think the Ravens are going to get it done at home against the Titans. I really like this Titans team, but the, the Ravens are just such a tough team to beat that I don't think anyone has a blueprint to take them down at the moment. The third game, which is being played on Sunday, is the Houston Texans at the Kansas City Chiefs. The Texans ended up beating the Bills in a crazy thriller. They went into overtime, and the Texans were down 16 to nothing at one point against the Bills, and they were able to come back, largely in part due to Deshaun Watson's incredible play. I think the Texans have been extremely inconsistent this year, but they have potential to play well, as we saw earlier in the season when they did beat the Chiefs, but I think the Chiefs have improved greatly from earlier in this season, and they're really starting to click at the right time. Patrick Mahomes has been playing pretty well, but I think the biggest improvement on their team right now has been their play of their defense. Their defense has been shutting down opposing offenses very well during the late part of the season and I believe this will continue this week against the Texans so I'm picking the Chiefs over the Texans mainly because it seems like they're getting things together at the right time of the season, whereas the Texans look a little lost right now. But it should be a good game to watch nonetheless. 
the last game of the divisional round is the Seattle Seahawks at the Green Bay Packers. The Seahawks defeated the Eagles in the wild card round of the playoffs last week. It wasn't a pretty win for them, but one player who really showed up was DK Metcalf. He had 160 yards receiving and a touchdown, and he's really starting to show some production at the right time for the Seahawks. They said they're going to use Marshawn Lynch more in the next game against the Packers. So, we'll see what they can do in that game. I think the Seahawks are able to play against any team in the NFL and keep it close. It seems like they play at every team's level, no matter if they're good or bad. The Packers had a bye week last week. I don't really know how I feel about the Packers. I don't know which team's gonna come out, whether it's the team that's running the ball really well and getting it done with the passes that they need to complete, or if it's gonna be the Packers that we've seen against the Chargers and the 49ers. They've been playing well enough to get their wins, which has been really good for them. However, I don't trust the Packers enough to be able to pick them against the Seahawks. The Seahawks always seem to have luck on their side, and they play well enough to keep themselves in the game. And I just see the Seahawks pulling through in this game, even though it's at Lambeau. Alright, so we'll just do a little bit of tapping with these helmets now. sounds in the video yet, so we'll just do a little bit of this to end the video. Let me know what 
video.